Look at you, bro. You want to do a lot of things in life, right? Say you want to get a good body, which is a very great thing to strive for, but you have, you know, some sort of condition, maybe a incredibly high metabolism or incredibly low metabolism. And you're like, uh, I want to get a good body, but like, you know, because of so blah, 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 I can't. So I'm just going to give up and do the exact opposite of what I should be doing to get a good body. Or maybe you're just pretty insecure with life and just very stressed out. And people tell you, you know, give you good advice such as, oh, meditate or do this, do that. But then you don't listen to it because then you're like, no, it takes too much time. No, it doesn't work. Even though I only try it like two times, right? You're, I bet you're one of those people that, you know, go scroll through TikTok and watch those like, what's your toxic trait? <laughs> like, <laughs> but I don't get that. Whoa. whoa. What's the point of that? Like, what's your toxic trait? Why, why are you like bragging about it? That's so cringe. So let's visualize in our head, you know, fast forward a bit to when you inevitably do become successful because I believe in you, you'll definitely become successful and rich and ripped and all that kind of stuff. What would happen if you realize or came to the understanding that you have some sort of trait that isn't necessarily the best? you realize you have your own toxic trait. What are you gonna do then? Well, obviously you're gonna work towards it because it's not good, it's not healthy to have that trait or to have a certain weakness in life. So you're gonna work on it, become better, do your own research on it and actually stay consistent on working towards it because you realize that, you know, as long as you work towards a certain goal of trying to, you know, get rid of this habit, get rid of this trait, or at least become the best you can in something you're lacking or have a disadvantage in, then you're gonna make progress regardless of where you start from, your disadvantages, and any amount of progress is good. So chances are you probably don't have the mindset that I mentioned before, and that's a great thing. That's really, really great to have because if you don't have the mindset, then honestly, growth is unlimited. But I do tend to see a lot of people online and maybe even your friends as well, they have that mindset of, oh, I understand my shortcomings, I understand my failures, but then they don't do anything about it to become better at it, even though they're really suffering from it. Take, you know, the example I mentioned before, getting a good body. I see like on the internet, oh, I have this condition, so I can't, you know, stay leaner than the average person but then they still go out and eat like burgers and hamburgers and pizza. I mean, that's sure you want to get this thing, but why are you doing the exact opposite? Yeah, you may have a sort of disadvantage, but still at least try to work on it. At least try what's the worst that's going to happen. You're just maybe not going to make as much progress as somebody else, but you're still going to make progress. I think a lot of people, you know, have this mindset as a cope or excuse because it's honestly kind of nice, <laughs> right? Like this isn't going well in my life and it's because of this condition. So then I'm allowed to do this other bad habit. I think that's a mindset a lot of people have. And if you're, if you do want to try and convince somebody, to be honest, people with those mindsets, you probably shouldn't try and change or convince because fundamentally like their mindset is different so you're gonna have to change their mindset and that's a whole heck of a trouble especially at your stage with self-improvement stuff but if you do want to try and convince people then again like i said you have to change their mindset first maybe perhaps do like a visualization with them or something like that tell them make them want to do it tell them what they can gain from it to those people who do have the mindset i mentioned before why do you do it like, is it because of the excuse thing, like I said, or do you genuinely believe that you can change or progress? Because if you really do believe that, then why do you make it worse? Or why do you do nothing about it? Are you too lazy to do it? Are you not disciplined enough to do it? And if you are, then, I mean, those are things you can work on. You can actually improve your discipline. You can improve your willpower. Those are just simply skills you can level up like in a video game. Those aren't set in stone the moment you were born those all can be improved upon every single day. Or maybe you're too lazy to. And if you are, I mean, you're suffering right now because of the thing, right? Because I, I have a couple of people, people that I know that 
are pretty insecure, anxious, and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, I tell them to do this thing, you should do this thing, like meditate, yada, yada, yada. And then this one person, they um, gave the excuse like, oh, meditation doesn't work. I only, they only tried it for like a couple times. And then they were like, it's too much effort for me, too much patience required or something like that. <laughs> like at that point, all your feelings are kind of your fault, right? Because you, you aren't even willing to become better. So whatever you feel, is a byproduct of your actions or rather inaction to do the healthy habits. And so it is your fault that you feel bad about it. You know, at the end of the day, it all just negatively impacts you because chances are you just don't want to do the good habits because you're too lazy or you lack motivation or discipline. So you just don't do them. But if this video did somehow make you at least a little bit more motivated, then I guess good for me, I guess good for you as well. But you have to understand that motivation isn't really gonna take you anywhere because this is simply like a random burst of motivation just from me telling you things. You actually have to go out, you know, work out, do this, do that, work towards your goals. And that not only requires motivation, in fact, that's optional. Motivation is literally optional. It requires an intense desire to achieve your goals and a whole heck of a lot of discipline. Now, I actually made a video on how to build discipline, a technique for those who seriously, seriously lack discipline. So check it out if you want. But yeah, motivation isn't gonna get you anywhere. It's a great place to start, don't get me wrong. But in order to make serious progress on your goals, you just need the discipline. You need the intense desire, the intense want to reach your goals. And a little bit of accountability helps along the way, you know, bringing on, bringing along a couple of friends, you know, I'll help you keep accountable. But yeah, now this video is probably getting too long, so drink some water as well. At least have the discipline to do that and have a lovely rest of your day.